So let's go ahead. Let's call the loft command. Turn chain off. Select this line, this profile to this profile. And then we can select this rail plus this rail. And if we take a look at the side, this is nice and straight. Well, the only problem is the transition of the loft to the side of the surface isn't very interesting. So let's say maybe we set this to tangent. This works a little bit better, but then we can see that there and there at the ends, let me zoom in, you see actually that the surface tries to be tangent to the other surface, but then because the profile isn't tangent, it doesn't really work well. Okay, so there's a problem. How can we solve this? Well, the main problem we have is simply these sketches at the points here don't really flow into the surface. But we actually have most of the upfront work already done. So let's maybe start here with front arc. Let's double click it. And what I would like to do is this line which I highlighted, I would like to project onto the surface so that then I can use a tangent constraint between this line and these projected lines. The command for surface projection is under sketch project and then project to surface. Let's click the face and let's click the line and then we can select a vector. In my case it is Y. Click OK and there. Perfect. We can then select tangent to this line and tangent to this line. And now you see this flows much, much nicer. Perfect. Okay, good. Let's go to the back sketch. And here we will do exactly the same. So sketch project to surface onto the surface by using this line along Y, OK, and then tangent this line to this projected line and the same there. Perfect. Good. Let's click stop. Now let's try to create another loft command chain is off, this profile, to this profile, to this profile, along this rail, plus this rail. And you see already, that it looks already pretty good or close, not as bad as before, because now our input rail curves are actually much better. Now we can set this to tangent and tangent so now also along these surfaces, this all matches and along these edges here, the rails, the surface sits on it. Click OK. Perfect. So you see with a little bit of adjusting the sketches, we were able to have much more control over how I want my surfaces to blend. And what I'm really looking for is the change of highlights on my body when I rotate it and when it crosses from one patch to the next patch. So let's take a look at how we can create the missing surface loft on top. Up front we have now the back and the center and the front rail. But we also have the surface. So technically speaking, we might actually not need these two sketches, just the center arc, then one we want to use. So let's go at loft, turn chain off from this profile to this profile to this profile, and then along this edge plus this rail to 
this rail edge. Okay, let's set everything also to tangent. Click OK. Perfect. So also here, we can still go ahead, the way how we structured everything, do some minor design tweaks. For example, move this one up, maybe move this one a little bit more down to fine tune the designs. But you noticed that in this case, already just with only G1, so tangent transitions between the surfaces, the computation time takes a little bit longer because these surfaces are actually quite uh, quite delicate to computate. And I used tangent here on purpose for it to be a little bit faster. We later can actually replace inside the sketches or the surfaces the G1 also with G2 transitions. Then it will even be more smoother and perfect. But with this done, we can select those three surfaces, stitch them all together. Because now we can do another section view along the Y and Z plane. And for example, take a look at how is the upper area of the handle. And if you could consider the previous we had, remember it at this edge, right where my mouse is, it quickly changed the direction. Now in this case, it is a nice and soft transition. So this one will be a lot more comfortable to use in your hand. The section tool is actually very nice. We can move this one left and right. We can also rotate it, for example, up and down. So I can see more perpendicular cuts. I can even cut this way. It's a pretty fantastic tool to quickly see maybe how actually one surface blends to the other surface. Okay, great. Let's go to this one, delete it. Let's clean up our design a little bit. And at this point now, we would be ready to maybe think about what we could do to redesign and refine now actually our interface elements so they look actually a little bit more interesting. 